Hi everyone, my name is Gigi Minsky. I'm a UCSB senior studying biology in the College of Creative Studies with an emphasis in bioengineering. I'm here today to talk about a very special effort coming from the UCSB campus. This effort is a course entitled Civics During the Pandemic, led by art professor Jane Mulfinger. The course is really a self-organizing seminar for students from all disciplines and majors to come together based on their interests, whether it's medicine, um, mental health, arts and crafts, and figure out ways to remotely or in person give back during the pandemic. So what is life like for you right now? It's a roller coaster and some days will be better and some days will be off. Everything just feels like a little more stressful. It feels um, just odd. It's a lot more simplified than I'm used to. When I realize I can't go home, I feel isolated, I feel uh, lonely, and I can't see my family and my friends. I'm working on hosting a blood drive, and last week I just finalized a date with I'm working with Vitalant, which is a nonprofit organization. I've been organizing weekly, sometimes twice a week, um, art classes. The graduate student that I work with has been organizing a lot of effort among graduate students in response to this whole COVID-19 thing. So I've been working with and talking to her. I've been doing little projects where I either create videos or like infographics and really utilizing social media to get good information out there about food security and accessibility. I've been helping like a couple neighbors and some friends that I've known that are self-quarantined set up gardens. I've been trying to show masks whenever I can, just for people around me and then to the go to college, college hospital. There's a few different projects I've been specifically working on, so it's helping scientists um, look at antibiotic resistance. So I created a poster encouraging people to register to vote by mail and then California later passed a policy making sure that every registered voter is going to have a vote by mail ballot which was really exciting. I have planned for making a game event that can gather all the people around and I've done to deliver the food to these people who don't have cars and drive them to markets. The thing that I've mainly been doing is trying to like provide for kids that are stuck at home. So I've been dressing up as different princesses. They can interact and ask me questions. They answer their questions, give them birthday shout outs because a lot of them are having birthdays here. I'm going to be premiering my composition uh, called Echoing Dreams on June 2nd. Um, so I've been working on um, advocating and connecting people with resources for tenants' rights. The future looks like it's going to change, but I feel like during these times, a lot of students like this class, people have been really resourceful and trying to help out where they can. So I really think this time alone has really strengthened people's minds and bodies and spirits and they're able to really put forth effort into something that's meaningful. We cannot predict where this is going, but we can keep up with each other. I think specifically that during this time we should be looking for new ways to reach out to people and figure out how to connect with people in a way that we're not used to. I hope that people take a lot of lessons that they learn from this unique situation like it helps improve our society in the long run. I would like to think that once we're through the worst of it, things, we might just care about each other a little more. This pandemic has laid a lot of things really bare in our society and I think that we're in a good position to have everybody see them and then once we see them we can act on them. And so I'm optimistic. That's great, that's great. Yeah. Um, I feel like your generation, I admire it so much. It seems like a collective thought of everybody needs to come together, everybody needs to work on things. And this was the case before this pandemic. So luckily your generation was already kind of thinking in those terms. And to me, I'm really grateful that I get to work with, with, with you guys.